our beloved Prophet Islam doesn't have any image, any idol, as others people, others faith of peoples, they made their religious leader they, as a remembering their idol. Christians made the Jesus thousand of idol image of Jesus Christ and the Hindus people they made the three Krishnas and others gods god or goddess uh, image or idol but we are the Muslim in this world Alhamdulillah we do not make any image or any idol do not make any film of our any Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in spite of not having image and idol of our beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the research the survey says the Prophet Muhammad is most remembered person in the world subhanallah subhanallah alhamdulillah it is our beloved prophet sallallahu because we proved in our practical life we remember our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in our every single of moment like when we go to bed we follow as our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, went go to the uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to bed. We, when we go to the toilet, we follow, we pray this dua. Well, how, how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to the toilet. Every single of moment, we keep our Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Nabi Alaihi Wasallam, in our practical life. So from that point, we are very unique and outstanding nation in this world against the other's faith of the people. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, loving and fascinating and attraction and affection, although these are the things which are closely related with our heart, although these are the things which is, you know, uh, related with our heart, but true love has an impaction. True love has uh, reflection and reaction and it needs to manifest itself through uh, physical, through uh, practical deeds and uh, saying, etc. For an example, a, a, sp a spouse, husband and wife, they lead the conjugal life, they, uh, they love each other. They might not say each other frequently, I love you, but they love each other as a result of their loving they support each other, they care each other. A husband support and provide his time and his wealth behind his wife. Similarly, a, a wife will also care uh, her husband about in dressing and cooking, etc. So, if, uh, uh, suppose, if any uh, of us spouse, like if any wife says, her husband that I love you but she doesn't care of him in cooking what he likes or in dressing her her dressing what her husband wish to see her but she doesn't care about that so if this case is raised in front of any judge or any of us so it will not prove that her, you know, uh, his wife have, uh, you know, loved, truly lovedness towards uh, her husband. So they might be get divorced each other. Because of what? Because of that, this love doesn't exist in practical way. This love doesn't exist in practical life. It will prove that, that you know, uh, anyone will, no one will say that, you know, they have love each other because they do not uh, you know exist it in into practical so likewise loving towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger is also will prove in practically it that is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned loving and following in same single verses in Surah Al Imran, ayat number 31. Allah says, Qul in kuntum Allah, Allah says, Our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that you should inform the people if you love Allah, so follow my messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have said here, uh, if you love Allah, you should love as well to our messenger prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam instead of saying love towards 
beloved Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah used an interesting sentence like saying, "Follow my prophet." So through following our prophet, it will prove that we have real love towards our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Allah's loving Allah subhanahu wa taala and loving Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam derives drives a believer to do all the thing what Allah and Messenger love and not to do all the thing abandon or keep away or restrain ourselves from doing or committing such a thing which Allah and Messenger dislike. It will prove that we really love our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us and may Allah give uh, an ability every single of mu'min to follow our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in our practical life. Amin ya Rab. Dear Muslim brothers, Sahaba Ajma'in, whether male Sahaba or, the, or female companions, they were same category in loving Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa There are thousands of examples. The time will not allow us, just I will mention a an example of female Sahabi, a female Sahabi from the tribe of Banu, Nadi, Banu Dinar. He, we, we, he, he, her husband, her son, and her husband, her husband, her father, and her son, three important members in her family lost in the Battle of Uhud. When she was informed about death of her husband, her son, or her father, when she was informed about that, she ran away and she said that what, tell me what about our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let alone mourning over there losing, their, losing her father, her son, her husband she was worried about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and she was informed that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is okay so there is nothing wrong with Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he's safe, he's safe but she said that I cannot console myself as long as I can look at Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa from my eye so just show me Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then the when she said when she saw beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam she said uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kullu masibatin ba'da dhalika jalalun ya Rasulullah every disaster over us that that the i.e. losing my husband my son and my father is not greater than losing you ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can you imagine that how was loving uh, of our Sahaba Ajma'in companions in practical way? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to love, to love as the Prophet, as the companions of Sahaba, they love Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From the, that point, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La tasubbu ashabi falaw anna ahadakum anfaqa misla uhudin zahaban Ma balaga mudda ahadihim wala nasifahu. The Prophet said, So be mindful, O Ummah, do not curse or do not criticize, do not blame any of our Sahabi. If you donate, who, uh, if you donate in gold as amount of mountain or hood, can you imagine the mountain of the size of mountain or hood? It is almost 3,500 high. Uh, 3,500 uh, 3, feet in high and almost 8 kilometers in length. So Prophet Sallallahu said, if you donate, who are not Sahaba as we are, if you donate in gold such an amount of mountain of Ahud, but if my, it's not equal to donating my Sahabi like just as amount of a pot uh, which, which contains only one or two kg rice which contains as a small pot. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that your donation like Ahud Mountain is not eco equivalent as my Sahabi donating of my Sahabi, just only a mood or half of the mood. So may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala make us from those who love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to your Hazirin, love among Karu Karuputi attraction feel kora Babhalo Basha etaucha on Ture Rector on Ture Shate Uto Pruto Babajorito. To be a director reaction at she reaction to Amadir physically Otoba Amadir at a practical life in Madume Promanito Hotahai. Otherwise, a e scanning to the Amadal physical life to the a lover to the Kuni impact Natake Tahole at a Promanito Haina Jashuli Ame Uimanusta Bawijinista Gamu Halobashikina. Ekjon husband wife Tara Hoto 
একজন প্রেমিক প্রেমিকার মতো আই লাভ ইউ তারা বলবে না কিন্তু তাদের একটা রেসপন্সিবিলিটিস প্রত্যেকের তাদের লাইফের কি সুন্দর বন্ডিং হয় কেন কারণ তাদের কাজে কর্মে প্র্যাকটিক্যাল লাইফে তাদের ভালোবাসাটা প্রমাণিত হয়ে যায় এজন্য আমাদের আল্লাহ এবং তার রসুল্লাহ সাল্লা সাল্লামের প্রতি যদি আমাদের সত্যিকার ভালোবাসা থাকে তাহলে এটা অবশ্যই এই ভালোবাসাটা প্র্যাকটিক্যালি এভাবে প্রমাণিত হবে যে আল্লাহ এবং তার রসুল যে জিনিসটা পছন্দ করতেন সেটা যেন আমার পছন্দ হয় এবং আল্লাহ এবং তার রসুল সাল্লা ইসলাম যে জিনিসটা অপছন্দ করতেন সেটা যেন আমাদের অপছন্দ হয়ে যায় এরকম যদি মাইন্ড সেট আপ আমরা করতে পারি তাহলে আমরা সুরা আলে ইমরানের একত্রিশ নম্বর আয়াতের সাথে আল্লাহ সুবহান তালা যেটা বলেছেন যে তুমি তো তো আপনি হ্যাঁ নবী আপনি জানিয়ে দেন তারা যদি আল্লাহকে সত্যিকার করতেই ভালোবাসে তাহলে তারা যেন আমার নবীকে অনুসরণ করে এখানে ইন্টারেস্টিং আল্লাহ সুবহান তালা এটা বলেন নাই যে আল্লাহকে ভালোবাসলে নবীকে যেন ভালোবাসে আল্লাহ ভালোবাসার পরিবর্তে এখানে বলেছেন নবীকে যেন অনুসরণ করে আর আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আমরাই হচ্ছে একমাত্র জাতি পৃথিবীর মধ্যে যারা আমরা আমাদের রসুল সাল্লাহ সাল্লামকে সবচেয়ে বেশি অন ফলো করে থাকি আল্লাহ সুবহান তালা আমাদেরকে জীবনের শেষ পর্যন্ত রসুল্লাহ সাল্লাহ সাল্লাম প্র্যাকটিক্যালিভাবে রসুল্লাহ সাল্লামকে অনুসরণ করার মধ্য দিয়ে যেন আমরা রসুল্লাহ সাল্লামকে ভালোবাসতে পারি আল্লাহ সুবহান আমাদেরকে তফিক দান